This is a WECT Cape Fear Business Break. Hi, Megan Donahue here talking with Port City Neurosurgery and Spines, Dr. George Alsina. Welcome, Dr. Alsina. Good to be back, Megan. How are you? Doing well, thanks. Tell us, what is a subdural hematoma? This is a blood clot that affects m many people. Most people think about it more in acute trauma, but it can happen in other settings. And it is when blood forms uh, right on the surface of the brain, uh, typically related to trauma. In a motor vehicle accident, it can be severe enough that the person has to be uh, hospitalized immediately and undergo emergency surgery. But in other settings, it can happen from falls that people don't notice. Um, as being particularly severe. And at the time, it doesn't really affect them. But then slowly over time, the blood clot actually increases over time, and that can take weeks to months. And the person then presents, sometimes just with a bad headache, but other times trouble walking, weakness on the side, even seizures. They can actually look like they're having a stroke. Wow, what are other uh, symptoms and signs to look for? Again, it's uh, that person who it just isn't quite right mm -hmm. and uh, it, if it's more obvious like say you know trouble speaking or trouble moving aside of, the, of their body they're going to go and get care quickly. Wow and that's that's scary to think that you know weeks later you see the symptoms. That's that's just how some of these things evolve but fortunately we're able to treat these with very good results. And what do you do to treat them? We drain the blood. Okay. I mean the there's not really a medical option for that. If it needs to be treated, it's drained through a variety of, of methods. Okay, and I'm sure the number one way to prevent these is in sports and whatnot is wear a helmet. Absolutely, safety first. Okay, find out more by going to portcityspine.com. This has been a WECT Cape Fear Business Break.